All right, let's test some method bias. Let's say we don't have a marker variable or a specific bias variable, but we still wanted to test method bias. We could do so with a common latent factor. Now, to do this, what I've added to this model, which should all be familiar to you except maybe this last part, I've added the CLF, the common latent factor, and I've said to create this common latent factor by all of the items in the model. So you'll see it's CR1 all the way to part four, which represents all of these, CR1 all the way to part four. Now I have three lines for this. I have the unconstrained line, which I'm gonna compare against the equal line and the at zero line using a chi-square difference test. I've also set the CLF variance to one and the covariances with the other factors at zero so that all of the variants they do share can go through the items rather than through the covariances. So let's save and run. This will give us our baseline model that is unconstrained. Model fit information. We'll get the chi-square and degrees of freedom. Here it is, 105 and 39. We'll put this in the unconstrained model area, 109. And I also want to show you the diagram. Here's the model. I can move this over to make it look a little prettier. And these are the unstandardized estimates. If you'd like to see the standardized, just as before, click on it in the view menu. And you can see that our validities still hold pretty well for all of these factors. And there doesn't seem to be a lot being pulled out by the common latent vector. But just to be sure that it is not a significant amount, let's do some more testing. Let's go ahead and test the at zero model first. So this will compare whether the unconstrained model is equivalent to a model in which we say that there is no bias or there's no substantial shared variance. Model fit, chi-square, 146, 842, and 47. And the answer is yes, these are invariant, meaning no, they're not different, meaning there really is no substantial shared variance among all of the items. So we don't have significant method bias, or at least method bias that is significantly different from zero. Now, if we did, we might go and check the equal line, which is to see whether the bias is spread equally across the items. To do that, we just uncomment that, recomment this, and do another chi-square difference test. Now, if you'd like to know how much variance is shared amongst all of the items, you could run this equal constraints model. And then we can look at the diagram, pull this over here, and you can see they're all equal. Well, if you were to square the 0 0.081, you should get the amount of shared variance. Let me bring up a calculator. 0 0.081 squared is less than 1% of the variance is shared amongst all of them. So this is pretty strong evidence that we do not have method bias substantially influencing our model. Excellent.